and welcome along. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> sorry I was a uh, minute or so late. I was at the very last minute still doing a couple of edits to the field prices on Cobra Park Farm because I want to uh, buy a couple of fields today and uh, we need to make sure we have enough cash to do that. Uh, otherwise, it's just going to be a bit boring. So, uh, yeah, uh, hopefully the game will appear on screen any moment. In the meantime, I'm going to say hello to everybody in chat. So, hello and welcome along to uh, Lego Rabbit Vlogs, to CDA Gaming, to Trevor Mahone, to uh, Bartos Kakmurazak. Uh, oh, Devlin, welcome along. Top Plays, welcome along. Uh, Brendan4255, welcome along. Moontown Boy, welcome along. There we go. Uh, Tristan Sproul, welcome along. Michael Schaefer, welcome along. JD455, man, welcome along. Maxim629, welcome along. Uh, Tristan Sproul, welcome along. Ke uh, Ketchil Alvaska Rod, welcome along. I think I say your name every entire different every time. Gilly, welcome along. FS17 GNC, welcome along. James Coy, welcome along. Paul Sinclair, welcome along. Gav8080, welcome along. Aaron Meany, welcome along. 2001, welcome along. Martin Beaton and Freddie Nicholson, welcome along. Coley205, welcome along. Cormac YT, welcome along. Cameron100, do it, welcome along. William Letch uh, Letchfield, welcome along. And Charlie Frost, welcome along. Right, there we go. Uh, so here we are. It is late winter. It is the last day of winter. We have made it through. Let's make sure that we have uh, the timer set correctly. And uh, and yeah, first job we need to do today, which I forgot to do, was remove stuff from around here so that we could put these in here. Uh, so we're going to have to to try and pile up the fertilizer around here as best possible. Uh, and then we only have two liquids and four uh, others, so we should be all right. Uh, and then we'll go and put the seeds elsewhere, I think. So uh, the first bit we need is we're going to do these. Uh, those are seed, so we'll leave that locked on. Seed fertilizer is this and this. Probably have to unlock that one as well. I'm good, thank you, Liam. I'm trying to keep up with the chat as well. Alter, no it doesn't, JD455 man. I have fallen for that before. From myself. <laughs> Nobody prompted it last time. Uh, I've got the pallet fork down at the shop. No, we, the, the pallet fork that we bought for down at the shop is to remain down there. Uh, what we have up here, uh, so we do have a pallet fork up here somewhere. So I'm going to get that. We actually have the pallets on sideways, which is not a great start. There we go. And I have to be careful when picking these up because I don't want to pick both of them up. Uh, I have a blown turbo. So oh, dear. Hello, Witchy. Welcome along. Uh, so, yes. First things first today. Oh, we can actually probably put the seeds in the shed around the corner. I think. Uh, I want to get this in here like so. There we go. Perfect. Who we got in here? What's going on? How is everybody today? My uh, my YouTube has completely frozen. Thinks I'm offline. Yeah. I think my YouTube has mucked up. So we'll refresh that screen and hopefully that is. Hello, Luke. Welcome along. Good evening, Paul Cox. Welcome along. I take it my stream is, is working fine uh, with YouTube telling me it isn't. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm just going to continue on. Chat is not swearing at me, so that's good. There we go. Oh, on the TWC. Oh, right. Oh, wow. I am not offline, JD455, man. Because chat would have told me so a long time ago. Now, my YouTube uh, screen just crashed. That's all. Hello, Spencer Boy, tr uh, Spencer Tractor Boy Campbell. Welcome along. Right, we need to go around the other side to get these two off. Ah, oh, 
so we are we are late winter we've got we've got a little bit of rain so maybe the rain it's mine oh wow no no that is not going to be rain that is going to be more snow <laughs> because it's minus three in the air and minus two on the ground there's no way that's not snow never swear at me <laughs> you say that there we go. Streams running fine. Awesome. 63 people in here. Hello, everybody. So it's Tuesday night, so the stream's always a little bit quieter on a Tuesday. He says. Whoa. Now you can see why it's fun doing this in the uh, snow. We've just skidded right across the yard there. Hey, Liam. Welcome along. Whoa. I would guess Richie was saying hi to the other Liam. Snow plowing? Oh, we've done the snow plowing, I suppose. Although we probably should have done this area as well. Seeing as we're unloading these. But by the time we've unloaded this, it will be inconsequential. Uh, we probably need to go down and have a look at our cows. Uh, it's not, yeah, we're not, uh, it's, it's not a day that we need to worry too much about stuff, I think. Tokyo, yeah, exactly. You really do. So it was one of the things I love about seasons is you really do slide on the snow. I've been considering getting a nickname, but now it's just too much fun. With oh, thank you. <laughs> Test VF. I'm, I, yeah, I'm not planning to do more snow plowing, Luke. Right, this should be enough. Yeah, watch this. Look. That is not good. <laughs> Hello, Lee. Welcome along. So, uh, our target. We've got. All, we've still got all the eights. So, if you saw uh, my Discord post or my Twitter post earlier today, uh, we hit uh, 8,888. We've stayed at that for a few hours. Um, tonight's target is 8,900. And I'm wondering, can we hit that many subs tonight? That would be fantastic. What is going on there? You don't have the grip. That's what's going on there. So maybe I want to plow. I'm, uh, if, we get, if we get desperate for work to do, we might go snow plowing. But I think we've got plenty to keep us busy on the farm, to be honest. This is all of our uh, all of our stuff for planting this season. Right, let's go. Now, do we have some? I think we have some forks. Hello, uh, Princess Gamer One Two Three. Princess Gamer One Two Three. Welcome along. Hello, John Deere Sixty Two Fifteen R. Welcome along. Right, where is? I'm sure we have a set. Ah, there's one set. Where are those? Those are right near me. They're just around the corner, in fact. So we will drop our bag forks off here. 60, it's 68 at the moment. Wow, we've just got stuck on the snow. Thank you for hosting the stream, Phased Out One. Welcome. Uh, you are awesome. No problem, Princess Gamer. I'm just going to call you Princess Gamer once, I think. Really? Thank you for subscribing, Blue Gummy Bear Vlogs. Welcome along. Let's see if we can. Rock ourselves out of this. Thank you for subscribing, Damien Doyle. Welcome to the BFN. Wow, we've shot up three subs already. Welcome along, a Blue uh, Blue Gummy Bear Vlogs. How have I grounded out on that much snow? Ah, oh. what have we got here that can help me? I think somewhere out there we go. There's what I'm after. We need to get a pair of uh, tines for this, really. Did Shamrock fail? Uh, Valley fail testing works? No, I don't believe it's been tested yet. Uh, John Deere 62 uh, 15R. Thank you for subscribing, Princess Gamer 123. Princess Gamer 123. Right, we're just going to sort of nudge this with the boom. That's. 
No, we don't. Uh, we, we rarely ban round here. Definitely haven't seen any reason for banning. Right. So, just gonna... There we go. I need to get... We need to get a pair of forks for this, actually. So, we may have to take this down to the shop. Won't ban you. Don't worry. My mods are very good. In fact, I would go as far as to say my mods are awesome. And I appreciate every single one of them. There we go. Right. So, that should have got our tractor off there. Don't do that, Spencer. Right. How am I still stuck? This is this is this is the fun of being live. I am actually gonna have to push it off more than that or dig. And snow. <laughs> I can't push it sideways. I'm going to have to push it backwards or forwards. Watch as VF mucks up. I don't have a, uh, a tow bar or anything like that. Get a tractor on legs. <laughs> Hello, Ethan Drew. Welcome along. I've got my mods worried now. Right. So, we'll do it on there. Wait, there we go. That'll do it. There we go. Right. Oh, I'll be happier when this snow goes. I need a bath now. Hey, Dal, welcome along. Now, this, I believe, uh, well, we can alter this uh, front bit, if not. But, yeah, this tractor should be staying down at the cows. So, uh, this will be the last job that this tractor does up here. Uh, we need to go and buy some forks for the, uh, for the telehandler. So, this can do this job up here. Hello, Dusty Dave. Welcome along. And Blue Ninja Monkey. Welcome along. Uh, realism experiment. Yeah, as realistically as we can possibly be. Beggar Luke. Hello, Global Teddy Bear. Welcome along. We are now eight away from Subgold, which is fantastic. Makes me very happy, that does. Right, there we go, and pull that off. Now we should be able to, this is, this is one of the advantages we'll have with the telehandler, is it'll be easier to see to do this kind of work, uh, which is why I want it up here. Uh, the stuff that we're, uh, yeah, look at that, I'm trying to go through the side of the thing. Hello, Vanessa Douche, welcome along. So, no, I agree, Luke, absolutely. But I had no realistic way of getting it, uh, getting it off. <laughs> there we go. So, I need to get right in there. Oh. Ah, no. To just touch that back. Really? I'm trying to slot this into here and it's pushed the other one round. And we're right up against the wall now. So our front bit is catching. Do it the only other way I can. All right. There we go. Over the top and then down. Okay, we're gonna have to get these out of here. 
Hello, Sky. Welcome along. Right, so we're going to reposition these. I have a feeling the one that's in here actually has um, isn't full anyway. So if it isn't, uh, we don't want it in the back. Yeah, it isn't anyway. So we'll get this one out. And then we can put the two new full ones at the back. And then that solves a big problem for us. There we go. So get that one out. Get that off the box. There we go. Then this one we can put in. And we can then put this right in the corner. Hello, Mr. Jingles. Welcome along. 93 people watching. If you are enjoying uh, the live stream, please give it a like. If you are new here, uh, then uh, please hit that sub button. Uh, and if you're new over on Twitch, please hit the follow and welcome along. Uh, I like you, Ginger Steve. Hello, Ginger Steve. Have I been ignoring you? I apologize for that. I don't mean to ignore anybody. Hello, Ginger Ninja. There we go. Right, let's go get the other new one then. Uh, you could have the sheds or barns, or you couldn't. What, well, in, uh, in FS19? Yes. I am getting so excited by FS19. Oh, man. Today's dev blog is just fantastic. How many horsepower does this Massey have? Let's have a check. Oh, no, it'll be in the garage, won't it? Uh, this Massey has a horsepower of... When I find it? Nope. Where's my Massey? There it is. 95 horsepower. A whole 95 horses in this Massey. Uh, this is our. This is now our animal yards tractor, but we just had it down the other end um, because it's also our tractor for when we go down to the shop and fill up with supplies uh, because the uh, <laughs> the teleandra is too slow. Hey, Glenger boy, welcome along. We are now seven subs away from today's sub goal. Hello, Kai Gill. Welcome along. That is still not a straight approach. And it's not easy to see. The reason why I'm not doing this in camera is because it's just not... It's not easy to get lined up and everything. No. Especially with the snow here. Yeah, you can see our... Forks are a long way over. Why is it called horsepower? Because it used to be uh, basically um, just the easiest way to measure it, I think, originally was how many horses can pull this. As it is, oh, 104 in here. Hello, everybody. Welcome along. Uh, was, uh, you know, how many horses would pull this. As it is, your average horse is actually not one horsepower, which not a lot of people know. Uh, horses can be up to uh, like 30 or 40 horsepower, I think. Yeah, but you can, yeah, you can get horses up to about 30 or 40 horsepower, I think. Uh, can we do a farming farm hana in the? Possibly, I've not got, I've not got the V8 one in here, farming man. I need to, I need to get that conversion. I need to get that modification done. Uh, so that we can have that version on him. Right, that is not how I want to pick that up. I want to pick it up from the side. Which is actually the wrong direction to pick it up from. Shire, exactly, Ginger Steve. Shire horses are very strong. Clydesdales. You think uh, Clydesdale is more powerful than this track? Hello, Jin Duncan. Welcome along. 100 people watching. Which is pretty fantastic. When I think when I think back to the days, or um, 
two years ago, about this time two years ago, I'm uh, I'm in a Massey 390 ish, I think. Uh, I'm on FS15. I'm doing Smoke Down Farm, and I'm sitting here for two hours on my own live streaming, <laughs> just going. And uh, this is a little bit like an episode. I'm just going to sit here and and do some sugar beet, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy this. Talking to myself. Uh, and now I've got 101 people in here, and that is fantastic. So thank you, everybody who's here. Right, uh, now I need to check whether our telehandler can use our other bit. What horsepower would we be? I have no idea, oh Devlin. Right, let's see if our telehandler can pick up the uh, thing. Because if not, I need to alter it. Hello, Mark Jess. Welcome along. There we go. As soon as I see something that I kind of go, oh, I want that to be my... Uh... Yeah, I will have it as that. Oh, my screenshot. Will that pick it up? No. So we do need to alter that as well before we take our other one down. Hello, Modder Farmer, Model Farmer 990. Welcome along. Right, so we're going to unload the rest with the telehandler. Uh, but to do that, we're going to have to make an alteration to our bag lifter. Uh, which is basically to uh, to make it so it works with the telehandler. So I thought can do about 750 kilowatts in there. That's one horsepower. There you go. Thank you, James Edmund. Right, we'll take this into the other shed. Hopefully it'll pick up this and not the combine. You can call me OD if you want. Okay. Why not buy a forklift or bobcat for the shop area? Not a bad idea, Paul Sinclair, although we only have 163,000. I would still like to pay off some loan, but I don't think we're going to be able to do that. This is the trouble with parking the combine in here. We're going to have to find a better place for the combine. Because we have to keep moving it out of the workshop in order to do workshop stuff. Hello, Roger uh, Mengetti. Noob. Wow, not been called that in a, in a while. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, customize this. Right, we want to customize. We can customize it so it does several. Uh, but we're going to customize it for a tally handler. Cost 250 to do that. So uh, we're now officially handing over the bag lifting duties to the telehandler from this hello movie guy gaming welcome along could buy a shed uh jim absolutely uh where to put it would be a question and uh and we'll see we'll see where I... the trouble is really i want to put it in the potato shed we could do actually that might be a really good place to put it uh we want to put that on the front ready for our work in a minute Now, we have enough money. I think we might have enough money, and we'll check this in a minute, to buy two fields. But I think we have just enough money to do that. Uh, and as we were discussing last time, I'd really quite like to pay off a loan. So it may be one field and a loan. Uh, all right. I'm all going this way. Hey, Farmer Klein. Welcome along. Ha-ha. <laughs> Yes, when I was younger. Uh, I tend to do that to my son these days. <laughs> uh, not all, Glenga. It depends. If you have a house old enough, uh, then you will find bathroom light switches either with pull cords in the bathroom or in the case of some houses I've lived in with an actual light switch in the toilet. Uh, it, sorry, in the actual room. trying to think if any of the bathrooms in my house are like that there we go right so now we're going to do the rest of this whoa there's a combine there now you got to move the combine again um 
Uh, light switches are outside bathrooms, Farmer Klein, for health and safety reasons. Have been since the mid... Mid 90s, I think, all houses had to be built with uh, light switches outside the bathroom. There we go. How many are uh, in my. <laughs> oh, that's the thing, Michael. Uh... Seven bathrooms, Michael. I have more bathrooms than I have bedrooms in my house. There we go. Right, so we need to move that out of there as well. So let's go grab a tractor. Welcome back, Princess Gamer. One, two, three. How many do you use? So we have uh, we have two annexes that get rented out. So um, oh God, we'll use this. Um, so they uh, they have a bathroom each. Um, we have each three bedrooms upstairs have uh, an ensuite. And uh, then the two downstairs toilets that we have, both one has a shower and the other has a bath. So they're both classed as bathrooms. Thank you for following Papalus. Welcome to the BFN. What type of house do I live in? I live in a detached house in the middle of the countryside at JD455 map. Is Shamrock coming to console? Uh, yes, I believe it is. When it's coming to console is what we don't know. Do I live in a castle? No. Although my house was built, uh, my house was built in the 1750s. Right, we're just gonna put this under cover here. I'm in good place for this. New FS50, I haven't actually, uh, it's the, uh, the one that released earlier in this, have we hit sub gold? Not quite. No, you made me look, Brendan, though. Uh, right, actually, we don't need this tractor anymore. Do I live on a farm? Uh, I don't, I do live surrounded by farmland, though. Uh, it's not, thankfully, uh, JD455, man, uh, mainly because... While the initial house was built in uh, seventeen uh, in the seventeen fifties, the uh, it's been extended several times. Uh, not as much as you think, Brendan. Right, we're going to put the seeds in here. Two huge living rooms, big kitchen, five bed. Yeah, you see, you actually have, uh, you actually have more bedrooms than I have, Michael. In the actual house, I mean, maybe we have five bedrooms in total, but they are uh, they're, they're spread across two of the annexes as well. Please don't bring sibling battles onto the chat. Your farm is worth about four million. Wow, that's pretty cool. Is stream laggy? Or is it, ah, it's gone laggy. Uh, that is YouTube though. That is not my end. My end is uh, is in the green. So that's YouTube going laggy or restream going laggy. Not sure which. Ah. Oh. No, 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 no. House in the back tends to be... Oh! Oh! House in 2010. I can't remember when we... Ha! <laughs> now, this is when the fun comes up, because we try and pick this up.
We'll have to get the others off first and then deal with this, I think. We need to get the trailer out of the way. Yeah, Glengar boy, it's uh, it's fallen off. The realism is all over the place. <laughs> and uh, and Nightbot's ignoring you. Later, Princess Gamer. 90, well, I got 97 watching on my stream, which is fantastic. How many likes do we have, guys? I do like this big bag model. It's a fantastic model. There we go. Your house is from 2015. Awesome. Ah, it seems to have cleared up now. We seem to be back to normal. Fantastic. Yeah, the advantage of this is that we can uh, we can get stuff a little bit deeper into here than we'd be able to otherwise. There we go. 67 likes. Okay, so 91 watching, 67 likes. Let's have a like spike. Let's see how close we can get. 73. Where's Rosie? Rosie is right there. Hey, Rob. Right, there we go. Your mum wants to move to something smaller soon. There is something to be said for that. I mean, big houses tend to be expensive things to run. Hello, Ty. Welcome along. All right, we can get this trailer out of the way. We can move the JCB and get the trailer out of the way. Then we'll be good. I'm very tempted to sell the 7810 or just... Actually, I think the 7810 will take down and um, we'll have that down at the uh, cow yard. Uh, useful tractor for down there. I think useful if we need to get another uh, carting tractor going as well. So, uh, yeah, we'll keep it around because it doesn't cost us much. Uh, but uh, I think we can, uh, it can be taking up less space around here. Hey, GD, welcome along. 8893 R. <laughs> right. Let's get this out of the way. I think what we might do is put this trailer onto our 7810 so that, that can, this can go down to the other yard. Don't sell it, love it. <laughs> right, want to make matters work. You know what? There's a um, uh, key detail. Uh, there is a uh, there is a fantastic uh, map called Southwest Norway for FS15, uh, which had a uh, the way it was set up worked very much like the the stuff in FS uh, uh, in FS19 is going to be, and I'm very tempted that if they don't do it, I kind of want to take it and try and rebuild it myself. I think if I rebuild it from scratch, that's that's fair. I can I can rebuild a map from scratch, so I might I might have a go at that map because it was beautiful. Please, you got myself. We've got to hit 150 likes for um for that. I should say thank you everybody for for us hitting 50 likes. You know I'm I'm happy with a stream that hits 50 likes and uh, and you guys come through and blast us through that almost every stream at the moment. So thank you very, very much. Yeah, it's a lovely JCB GD. I think I think Dave would be uh, a little bit jealous. Not Rainbow Dave there, but Dave from the Adventures of Dave on Gamer Dragons channel. Go check out GD. He is awesome. Uh, the farm is coming along very nicely. I'm, do you know what? I'm so looking forward to doing this series in uh, in FS19. I think we're going to have a lot of fun on these streams, building up from scratch, and uh, and doing this in FS19. Of course, we initially won't have. Oh, that's not working. 
Uh, we initially won't have seasons, so we won't have snow and stuff. But we will try and stick to sort of the six-day season uh, thing. Come on. Come on. No. Right. The other way to do it is to get around here. Push this down. And hopefully. There we go. Every stream you've seen has hit over 100 likes. That, I mean, that's just, that blow, has blown me away recently. Yeah, we have had some fantastic streams. And thank you guys. You guys make these streams. You know, these streams would not be what they are without you guys. So thank you very much for taking part. Thank you very much for joining me on them. Because you are all awesome. And, uh... And it's going to go from strength to strength as we get into FS19. Like that is quite a long way on this. So we're going to have to... Don't want to knock any of the others. There we go. And we're done. Perfect. Right, we're going to drop these off over here. 92 likes, so we're fairly... Wow, 37 minutes in, 92 likes. We could be four from... Uh, can you get the modern classics on Steam version? Uh, yes, but you have to go and... Uh, well, they're not. there's not a Steam version of them. Uh, you have to go and buy them from the Farming Simulator website, but they will work with uh, the Steam version of the game. So you're absolutely fine. Uh, yes, Mark Jess, I'm very excited for FS19. Um, no, and that's not just because I'm going to Germany to play it. I, it, it just, to me, it just sounds like an, such a fantastic version of the game. So, uh, yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to FS19. And what we can do with it, how we're going to play it. The stuff from the dev blog today has me excited. Uh, the winner of the, uh, of the giveaway will be announced on the, su uh, the Sunday stream when I get back from Germany. So there'll be one last opportunity to enter it uh, on the first Farming Simulator 19 stream. Uh, and then the second Farming Simulator 19 stream, I will uh, select the winner of the giveaway. I did say we're going to use this. Uh, what song am I singing today? Um, we shall see. See how my voice is holding up if we get near to 150 likes. We need to hit that 100 likes and have that uh, happy dance first. We do have music, good. Is the giveaway PC only? Yes, unfortunately, Odie. Uh, it's because I'm giving away a digital copy and I can't do that on consoles. That's all right, Aaron. I, I stream every Tuesday, so, um, you know. It's all good. All right, let's take these two back down to uh, where they belong. If we're going to do that... I think the landing may already be down there. I'm good. Thank you, Bobby. Welcome along. Ah, and I can read that. Spuds by farm. Yeah. So 163,000. I'm just trying to think how we might be able to make a little bit more money. Oh, we can do some missions. We can't do any missions today. But come springtime, we'll be able to raise a little bit of cash. Because you can do some missions. Hello, Oscar Cummings. Welcome along. I looked out the window and Dad is spraying one of your fields. At this time of night? Oh, hang on. Where are you based, Cormac? There we go. Uh, let's get our beacons on. 95 likes. Five likes to go. Hello, Soren Friss. Welcome along. Hello, Brendan7810. Welcome along. I do, yeah, I can't, I can't part with that 7810. It's not got a massive use, uh, but we have use for it actually with the cows. So we're, it's going to be a, it's going to be one of our two tractors that's used with the cows. 
So we've got this down here that is that does all things, uh, yeah, you know, all the other bits. Uh, and then the 7810, we'll use that for rolling and things like that. So, um, I don't know. I'm I'm looking forward to it any which way it happens. Thank you for subscribing, Brendan7810. Welcome to the BFN. We are six away from our sub goal. Thank you, Bobby. Right, so. Yeah, the landy's down here, so that's good. We can head back in that. Just get it out of the way, because I want to put the flatbed there. Gav has... Con yeah, okay. I have had it confirmed by the mods. There goes my radio voice. Uh, that we have a hundred likes. So we all know what that means, don't we? That means in a very short period of time, I will be doing something that many people know uh, as the happy dance, where I um, move about in front of the camera like an idiot. So we will just stop our 7810 here and go... Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, you lot of awesome, you lot of awesome, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, go you lot! Right, there we go. Yeah, sorry, uh, JD455, man. I just I just have not had a chance to get that sorted. Uh, I'm going to have to put these in here a different way, I think. And where is my bucket? It's tense. It is tense. It's always... This is the thing. Uh, it's everything in this series. Everything about this live stream is a race against time. It's a race against time as can we do these things each day. It's a race against time, especially the harvest. The harvest is always can we get everything up. And so far, it's been a resounding no. We have not had in the three... Uh, we, we're about to enter three years. This is the last... This is the last live stream of the second year uh, in this series. That, that's all fantastic. Right. Where is my bucket? And uh, and yeah, in the two years worth of harvest we've done, we've never managed to get everything. And we're going to add two more fields for the third year. Or at least one more field for the third year. So how we're going to do that, I don't know. Where is my bucket? Oh, there it is. Tell me it's down here. He's down here. It's over this way. Hello, George Goods. Goods, welcome along. Which would I have? John Deere 7810 or Ford 7810? Ford 7810. No, no question. That's an easy one. Although that 78, the 7610 that Eddie was using today is mad. I had to go and edit that. Got to bed at uh, 2 a.m. last night because I had to edit that mod because the uh, it was making the uh, drill jump. We haven't had a screenshot of this for a while. There we go. I like that. Whoops. There we go. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. That's a beautiful shot. Right, there we go. Hello, Real, uh, uh, Real Dexter Gamer. Welcome along. Hello, Oliver Fox. Welcome along. Last Harvest. Just Yeah, pretty much. Better planning next year. Uh, do I like the Class Dominate? Uh, yeah, that Class Dominator is a nice mod. I used it on uh, Sandy Bay. 
Sandy Bay was when I used that class dominator. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's a lovely combine that is. Right. Uh, oh, let's get the muck out of here as well. How are our cows in general while we're down here? Uh, oh, they could they could do with some work in general. We could enter the new year. I think depends on how much work we have to do today, but I certainly think we can get this out. And we're still gonna have snow on the ground first day of spring. Oh, that was close. Yeah, let's get this out. Hey, Trevor BT, welcome along. There we go. Can you download the... Uh, Bobby, we do not have... We, with the money we have, we do not have money for more tractors. And we're not really looking for more tractors on here at the moment. We probably actually have more tractors than we need. Hello Bradley, welcome along. Let's see if you minutes over 150 likes. But yeah, we are what we are um 48 minutes into the stream and we're already we've already had the happy dogs. They're very messy cows. Very, very messy cows. You need to, yeah, we need to spread some of the dung. Oh, actually, we might go and change that today as well. Because I, uh, I'm i not going to use the side spreader. The side spreader will take us too long. Uh, so I want to get a, uh, I want to get a rear spreader. But we've been collecting cow manure for nearly two years. Can Eddie get it when he needs a new tractor? Um, yeah, I don't know what Eddie's going to do about a new tractor at the moment. We shall see. See, they just climb straight over it. Spread some today. We can't. We've got snow on the ground, Bradley. Our first time we're going to be able to do it is probably the second day of spring. Uh, but yeah, we can't spread it. Until the snow goes, we can't spread any of this. <laughs> uh... If you get to 100, I hope you don't scare people. Yeah, that was a bit weird. 160 people and I start singing. <laughs> and we go down to 130 almost immediately. <sighs> people are... Can't buy a bigger bucket? We don't actually have a bigger bucket in game at the moment. I don't have the... The bigger bucket would be the CSZ set. And I don't have it. It's in Silas where it's been covered in snow. I don't think... I think there's a limitation with the game, Bradley, that will prevent us from spreading it in this weather. I don't think Seasons will actually let us spread it. I'm good, thank you, Kevin. I'd be surprised them spreading it in the snow as well. Seems like a slightly odd thing to do to me. There we go. It's also XP 70. Wow. A Windows X. Wow. Uh, when you do each grass cutting seasons, I do it. Okay, so when you aim, William, when you want to aim to do each grass cut is at the end of each season. So you want to do one late spring, late summer, late autumn. That's when I try and target the trouble we have on here and we never get the late autumn one done. 
because we're always trying to get the last harvest done. Uh, if you would spread it in that weather in real life, it'd be a waste. Yeah, that's what I thought. Hello, Longford Gaming. Welcome along. Thank you for following ZBoy119. Um, oh, just a reminder, of course, that the giveaway is still happening. The link is in the description if you want to enter. That's all right, William. That's, that's when I aim to do it. And don't be scared when you're starting a map to do the first cut at the end of spring. Because it won't be fully grown when you do a new game save with seasons at uh, the first year uh, in spring. But it pays off. You then get three cuts in. Otherwise, you won't get your three cuts in. Uh, whereas second year onwards, you'll be absolutely fine. What's the giveaway? The giveaway is for a digital copy of Farming Simulator 19. Or it's actually a pre-order code for a digital copy of Farming Simulator 19. What's the giveaway? Uh, I've been out. Um, it is, yeah, so it is in the description. Uh, if one of the mods wants to grab it and post it in chat, please. Um, it is for a digital Pre, a pre-order code for a digital copy of Farming Simulator 19. Uh, I will be uh, drawing it on. I think it's Sunday the uh, Sunday the 18th of November. And uh, and yeah, and uh, and one lucky person who has entered will get a copy. How many subs? Oh, five subs to go. We're so close. There we go. Right, I think that is that. I don't think they need anything. I don't think they need anything today. What we're going to do is we're going to spend the rest of the stream getting set up. Um, they've got enough to last through. So I'm not concerned about it at the moment. Uh, I think we want to have a look at changing our muck spreader. It's not been used. At all, actually. Right, there we go. So let's have a look at that. Let's have a look at how much it's worth before we go any further. Right, there it is. So the Abbey is worth 5,479. I think that might have been why we bought it. Right, so 5,000 uh, and it will... Wow, we've had it for a while. So that's uh, gone down a lot in price. Um, a Joskin is 49. The Gyrax is 25. Uh, 18 for the sip. The sip holds 12. So we could go for that sip. That might be a good one. The Ursus, yeah. I think the sip Orion might be a good one to go for. Uh, so we might look at that. But I think we're going to go and sell the existing one first. Hello, Farmer Dan. Welcome along. Yeah, the, the trouble with the GR... Yeah, no, no, that's... Uh, the trouble is that's 25 versus... 18. Oh, actually, that's not a massive difference. It's wider and it holds a little bit more. Yeah, we might go for the Gyrax. Or if I can get it in, there's a blue version of that, I think. So I might get that. Right, so uh, we have our 7810. So let's go park our 7810 up as well. You have one of them in real life. Ah. <clears throat> right, and then I need to work out what our next job is. It may be pulling these straight back out, of course. But I think we should go and have a look at the two fields that I'm interested in buying. How much of this have we got left? We could possibly sell a trailer full of this. 
Although I quite like to, yeah, I quite like to keep it. That's keeping our cows well fed. And should do until the end of next year, I think. Can you chat to Eddie about the Z-Tour? Uh, as I said, I think Eddie, I think Eddie will... Uh, although it's appropriate for the map, I think Eddie might be okay for tracks at the moment. It depends on what happens, really. Off we go. Right, so there are two fields that we're looking at getting. Both of them are up here at the main farm. Round up here. Woo. Need to stay on the stuff we've cleared because otherwise we'll just go flying. Can I release my Land Rover console? I wish I could, Kevin. Um, unfortunately, the limitations by the fact that Giants don't have the Land Rover brand means that I can't. So this is a very nice big field. Uh, this is field six. I mean, it's a huge field. Uh, that is now 78,000, so that's good. So how much is the other one we want? The other one we want is field three. Is that Guinness? No, that is a uh, that is a Pepsi Max. Bumpy. Oh, then that's why we have a landing. I've got IC on this. I should use the IC on this. There we go. Seventy-four. So we could actually, we could actually buy both fields, uh, which would be all sorts of cool. That would be fantastic. We won't be able to pay off any loan, but we can conceivably make a lot of money. Right. Okay. So, uh, yeah, so we can buy those two fields. I'm not going to buy them immediately until we need to do stuff with them. But uh, certainly, I think we should buy those two. I think we should uh, do that. We may end up having to hire another combine to get all of that done. But that will work well. So, let's have a look at what he's doing. So, the simple thing we could do is uh, we could go and sort the cows out. Uh, it's probably the best use of our time at the moment. There's nothing really to do around here. We've got nothing left to sell off. Um, we've got enough potatoes to seed the potatoes at next year. Our tractors are all in good condition. With They've all been repaired. Do it by the... Okay, let's, let's, go, let's go buy our fields now. Then, in that case. Can you sell land in FS19? I believe you can. I believe that was one of the things we were told at FarmCon. Is that you can sell land as well as buy it. Right. So, there we go. We've got 89,000 left. This is close. Can we buy this field as well? I'm hoping we can. Yes, we can. And have and have 11,000 left. So there we go, two new fields. So if you guys are wondering, how is how are the fields on Cobalt Park Farm so cheap? Um, I have adjusted the field prices um, because we would never have bought anything uh, had I not reduced the field prices on the map. Um, those, I think, those, I think, are much more reasonable um, prices for those fields then. So... Hello, Speciality. Welcome along. I think I reduced them to 28% of the value across the board. Uh, right, so, uh, saw the lights. Awesome. Uh, thank you, uh, Chuck. 
Yeah, stream is going well. It's it's that time of year. It's winter, so we're not making a huge amount. Um, oh, we could go and do some forestry as well. Because we do have forestry equipment, so we could go and do that. Uh, really up to you guys. Snowed hard seven years ago, and you should defend its toe. An Arctic Tesco's. Wow. I can't remember that snow. That was when I drove my golf off the road. Am I? Wow. That's awesome. I do like that. I Actually, I do like that new um, thing. Currently at the top of the... So, uh, actually, that's a good question, Speciality. Are there many farm sim live streams at the moment, running at the moment? I'm kind of, I'm kind of intrigued by that. Wow, there are. Oh, there are a few. That's interesting. Forestry, uh, plant field nine is grass. Okay. Uh, later farming simulator videos. I think, I think, yes, maybe we should go do some forestry for a bit. Uh, right. What we will need for that then is we're going to need the flatbed. Yeah, we're going to need our two tractors down here and the flatbed. And then we can come and get lit stuff later. So, uh, let's go get our forestry stuff. There's one guy. Yeah, I think he's Russian. 21 worldwide. Wow. And I'm at the top of the list. That's awesome. There we go. I think people will start using that more. Right, so, uh, we're going to go down past the cows with this. Yeah, we will raise... The nice thing about doing some forestry is we're going to raise a little bit of money. Our cows don't immediately need feed, uh, feeding, so that's all good. Oh, it's still in reverse. Uh, me, I think, JD455, man. this up. So as last time, we're going to load the logs onto the flatbed. Uh, this time though, uh, we'll come and get the stump grinder later. OD. We don't immediately need it. Right, I think I'm going to go and do a piece of forestry. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go do some forestry I've never done before on this map. 116 likes, that's fantastic. Now, I don't know if there's going to be a flat enough area to use this trailer uh, where we're going. So, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> 118 likes, fantastic. What have we got? So, we've got about just under an hour left. It'll get dark before then, then uh, though. So we've probably got about half an hour's worth of forestry we'll do today. And uh, I've got my indicator on. I do have my indicator on. I thought I did. I hover at 80, 90. Yeah, sometimes I. Uh, Sundays tend to be a bit higher, but yeah, most of the time at the moment I'm hovering at a sort of 80, 90. Which is really quite nice. I mean, that's that's fantastic. And I kind of think people, uh, the, the 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 indication I've got and the thought I've had from people is that rather than doing the behind the scenes stuff, uh, you guys watching my stream tend to like a series and a, and a story and and something that goes through like. This. Uh, which is why I'm going, right, okay, I'm going to do that stuff. I'm going to do stuff like that. 
Uh, I'm going to do, you know, video stuff is video stuff, and then stream stuff is stream stuff. Hello, Tommy Power. Welcome along. And it'll be, a, it'll be like that in FS19. Whichever map I'm doing, if I'm doing a video series on it, will be a separate series with a, with a different name. Later, Chunk. Hey, Dan Bates. Welcome along. Where's my 7810 got to? Oh, it's coming. Hello, Vapor LFC. Welcome along. Right, now I need to go and see if... Wow, okay. Uh, answer to my question is no. That is that is literally it. We've got to cut our way into the forest here. So that's what we'll do. Now I think we have... Oh no, we don't have the measure mod. Kept meaning to put that in. Uh, yeah, indoor camera is the uh, is the one you're thinking of, Glenga. Automatically puts you inside the uh, thing. First used it for uh, Balin Craig, and then loved it so much that I've used it on everything since. Right, we need to put this on the flat. Not got any cars, thankfully. Oh, actually, no. Logging is straight ahead. So that will work to our advantage, but I cannot park this on the stage. So we're going to park this on the side of the road, over here. Like so. so. Hazards on. There we are. And we should still have our beacon on as well. Yep. Trailer is way too far out in the road. Do I watch Funky Farmer? No, I haven't watched Funky Farmer, to be honest. Yeah, keeping this flat here, using this here, is not going to be the easiest of things. Bit more immersive. Exactly, Gengar. I like doing... Um, first person stuff a lot so you know going straight into the uh, into the vehicle when I get in is fantastic right so turn that off so this is going to be a bit more of a challenge doing the forestry here how do you get hazards uh, in my case it's on my wheel I've uh, I've assigned it but you can do yeah you can do hazards I think it's three or something like that. I want to send this this way. No, I want to send this that way. Hello, Frank McKinnon. Welcome along. He's doing up his Norton trailer. Cool. Right, I think we want to get this one as well. Ah, uh, keypad 789. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's up another tree. Fantastic. Right, let's start this. I think we'll go back. Hello, Aston Awano. Uh, one zero zero. Is this going to fit? Why do I not have that mod on here? Made a 7810 fact sheet because you're bored. <laughs> what, a John Deere or a Ford? Yes, hazards are keypad too. Oh, 
Obviously a fort. Good, good. You never know, though. <laughs> right. It's <laughs> yes, but they won't. Um... Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what the keys for the hazards on the controller. They won't reflect, though. Thing is, uh, on the <laughs> nice loop. Right, there we go. That's got it. So the difference between loading this stuff onto a flatbed is that we have to be just that smidge more careful while we're doing it. Hello, Elliot Cole. Welcome along. Trying to guess this. There we go. Ah, oh, we'll just take the tip off. Oh no! Wow, this is a longer one than I suspected. Wow, that one we can pick up. So we will do. And put that on the trailer ourselves. Hi, Tractor Man 99. Welcome along. Yeah, I, I, I have it. I just haven't activated it on here. I'm slightly annoyed with myself for that, Glinger. Because I love that mod. That mod is fantastic. I've used that ever since uh, FS... Um, FS... Uh, sorry, FS15. That is just a rubbish piece of wood. Realism. I am being realistic. I'm now putting... <laughs> there we go. There we are. That can't pick the other one up. So let's get the tractor on that. The rain is falling, and it is actually rain. It's three degrees C, so uh, it might melt some of the snow. So if if that happens, we might be in a good position on the start of spring. There we are. Back to your old profile pic. Hello, tractor lad. Welcome along. You're all right. That wasn't that heavy a log. I've not got muscles mode on it. I am running the sawdust mod, yes. So we have put sawdust onto the road. Gone and hack into this one a bit. Just because I've never done it. I've never played in this forest... Uh, this bit of forestry in CPF. And I kind of know why now. Because <laughs> you do have to park your tractor on the road in order to load. It's not, yeah. You know, and I'm not overly surprised. You know, CPF isn't a big forestry map. So it's not, it's not overly surprising. Oh, the stream cut out and resumed. 
You didn't see that on my end at all. However, it looks like the chat's frozen as a result. Let's restart the chat, shall we? I don't know why that happened. That could have been Restream having a, an issue. Quite possibly. I can't think of another reason why the Restream chat would kick out. There we go. <laughs> there we are. Yeah, so my chat froze. I wondered why it, uh, I wasn't getting any chat messages, bro. Please put wood chips on the ground after... Cons oh, yeah. The wood, yeah. That won't... At the, interestingly, it won't at the moment because there's already snow on the ground. Welcome along. Now we're going to have to start strapping these down because otherwise we're going to start losing logs. In a minute, I think. Although it's holding them quite nicely at the moment. The stream just went offline about two minutes ago. Yes, tractor lad. I did see that. Uh, it is back. It did resume. It continued rather than started a new stream, which is good. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where are you going? Yeah. Right, we need to cut this a little bit shorter. In fact, we just need to cut the end off, I think. Yep, there we are. And then we can put this onto our trailer as well. Hello, Adam. Welcome along. It did on, yeah, it did on the road, Glenga. Yeah, but that's because there's no snow on the road. <laughs> working quite well and we are making a good inroad into the uh, into the forest quite nicely uh we'll be doing any uh no martin uh as, as i was saying a minute ago so my videos and my live streams are two uh, separate things uh so my videos are all are this series they're all a realism experiment no plans to do anything. Uh, no plans to do anything on Shamrock Valley because I, I I'm enjoying doing this series here. Is the thing. Um, evening, Agri Designing. Fifty hours. Yeah, we got fifty hours on that little tractor. It's amazing. We're we use those so much. Thank you for subscribing, J40. Uh, 440. Welcome to the BFF. There's a, more of a tree there somewhere. There it is. Right. Where is it? It's under the snow somewhere. There it is. Whoa. Need to hold that up. Uh, what are the hours of the same game? We'll have a look at that in a moment. First, hang on. What's up? There we go. How to fly with a log. There we go. Put that on there. Uh, so how many hours do we have on this map? We have a total of... 
115 hours on this map. This is what I like about it, is the fact that this is... Oh, that's too heavy. I think this one will also be too heavy. No, that one is not too heavy. That's good. Can't be off your... Yeah, how many likes do we have? Oh. Ooh. Yeah, definitely going to have to start strapping that on in a moment. Great demand at wool for wool. We don't have any wool. Unfortunately. Otherwise, that would be fantastic. Are uh, you ever connect with Gagwin or... Uh, well, Simulation for the Nation obviously um, does corporate contact with, contracting with me. If you have not subscribed to Simulation for the Nation... I highly recommend uh, his channel for two reasons. One, you will, uh, otherwise you will miss half of Cornbrook contract. Uh, the other is because he's a damn fine YouTuber. Um, ooh, 127 likes. Th no, 23 likes to go to a sing song in 37 minutes. Can we do it? Can we hit that um, <clears throat> goal to do a sing song? Wait. I don't want to knock anything off. Later, Witchy. Have a good evening. Right, there we go. So I think we've probably got about another 15 minutes on this job. Um, at which point we will head back to the farm. I think we're going to give everything a good wash today and, and sort of sort ourselves out a little bit. Awesome track to laugh. Later, Witchy. Thank you for your help. It's, it sort of looks like a, a pathway up here, but it's not so much. Right, we had to cut this tree as well because we can't get access to this one otherwise. Which shiny to watch Cornwall. Cool. Well, seeing as we uh, we do one episode on one and one episode on the other each week, that's not surprising. <laughs> uh, hey, Grumble. I think I said hello to you. There we go. Perfect. Right, so that's that one cut. And then we're going to cut this one. About here-ish, I think. Don't forget GD. No, GD is awesome. We did say... Um, we did say earlier that GD was also. I think GD came in here, didn't he? Just in case, I am going to do this. Because GD's awesome as well. You should go and check out Game of Dragon. He also uh, does some wonderful stuff with corporate contracting in, uh, in the form of Dave. And you should check out the Adventures of Dave on his channel, which happens on the same map and in the same setup as, uh, as Cornbrook. Uh, are you... Yes. Corporate contracting will continue into FS19. We have already gone. Yes, we, we have to get, We have to do this in FS19. FS19's multiplayer. The more I learn about it, the more I go, this is set up for us to do a series like this. Uh, and in fact, actually, in FS19, we're, we're looking at expanding Cornbrook contracting. So there may be a couple of episodes a week from Cornbrook uh, each Rather than the, uh, rather than just the two each that there are at the moment. Thank you, Pro Gamer. I am so looking forward to that. I've got a trip out to, um, I've got a trip out to Switzerland uh, to uh, to see Giants first uh, next month. So middle of next month, I am going to be with Giants in Bern for Hero Fest, uh, which is going to be fantastic. I am going to be doing a commentary on their YouTube and Twitch channel again. For, uh, oops, we are going to have to stop grinders. 
Oh. Um, for the Farming Simulator Championship. Looking forward to that. What map would we do out of the three? We haven't decided yet. Until I actually see the maps, uh, we won't really know. But uh, either way, uh, corporate contracting will be leaving the UK for a little while. That is a big log. This little 390T has done us really well. When is FS19 coming out? FS19 will be out on the 20th of November. doing well we're still stacking well on here what's my favorite brand of tractor my favorite brand of tractor is david brown i am a massive david brown fan hello cormac cassidy welcome along all right there we go yeah i i think they might have i i think uh, the, the word is that, that the, the farmers are moving out with them. So. <laughs> There's a good group. There is a good group of farmers we've got at the moment keeping Cornbrook busy. And the way the way Cornbrook is now structured is I, I absolutely love it. It is so awesome. And part of my reasoning and part of my want to do two episodes a week on Cornbrook is because we have such a great group of multiplayers uh, doing Cornbrook now that it there is enough stuff there to do uh, to to do you know four episodes a week plus uh, GD stuff and it's just yeah it's a massive amount we can do with that and I think uh, I think that's the thing we're going to find with FS19. FS19 is going to be a um, is very much going to be a multiplayer game. I think. I think uh, FS19 for multiplayer is is where a huge amount of the change is coming. Woo! No, no. Right, we're strapping that on. If I'm going to do this like a silly person. I'm going to strap that on. There we go. Uh, how are we doing? 29. We've, got, we've still got a few minutes, actually. Uh, nope, we don't yet, Elliot. Uh, it all depends on whether or uh, when Giants get round to testing it. Uh, which, at the moment, I would say they are very, very busy with FS19. I would suspect once FS19 goes gold, you'll end up seeing a lot of... Um, a lot of mods suddenly come to the bottom. Hey, Silver News. Welcome along. If you haven't checked out Silver's News channel, I highly recommend it. Lots of uh, Farming Simulator and ETS and Hunter Call of the Wild uh, and uh, ATS News and all sorts of things. So go check out Silver's channel as well. Uh, doing something really, really interesting that, in all honesty, I kind of wish I had a thought about or thought of. <laughs> but yeah. Well worth checking out Silver's channel. Right. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh. Now our little our little Massey is having issues with this snow and these hills. Yeah, there we go. You're able to type now. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I've never I've never tried to work this forestry area before. It's really quite interesting. Making the inroads into it, and, and the fact that I have to have this here. Hello, North Bumble and Farming Videos. Is, uh, is it a really interesting bit of forestry?
I love that I I would love I, I kind of wish I'd thought of a series like this when I first started you know uh, first started doing um, first started using seasons because this would have been a fantastic thing to have oh, done back then okay that's not getting back I was, I'll be yeah, I'll be ITV. I the trouble is I I unfortunately cannot put it together. And I can't I can't do it at the time of day. I'd have to I'd have to do it like half six in the morning. Uh to to be effective with it. And uh, and the trouble is you'd get all the news first, Silver. <laughs> I'd be reporting the previous day's news and you'd have been reporting it yeah. Right, I think we are getting to the extent of what we can fit on this trailer at the moment. I think we might get one more tree. Hello, RC Off-Road. Do I play any Euro Truck Simulator 2? Good question, Elliot Cole. Um, for our 9K special, which we are 103 subs away from, uh, I will be doing an ETS 2 live stream convoy so uh what will happen is when we hit when we hit 9k uh one of the live streams that week will be devoted to uh, an ets2 live stream uh i will publish the place that we're starting from uh and uh and the time and everything i uh, will gather just before the stream starts and then we will um we'll go from there could be um i kind of enjoy playing farm sim is the thing adam i yeah i am very much like many other youtubers who who do this i don't really play it outside of this but part of the reason why i enjoy doing these live streams so much is because this just allows me to play farm sim you know a lot of the videos there's a lot of production and editing and everything like that Whereas these live streams, absolutely, just are uh, just me playing, just me really enjoying having a go at playing farm sim in its purest form. I mean, if I wasn't doing live streams with this, this is how I would, um, this is how I'd play myself. Great demand for grass seed. We have none of that. You know, I wouldn't want to. Uh, I'd want to set it up and do it like this, which is why, which is why I'm so excited about FS19. Because F, as I keep saying to Giants, FS19, it's like they went, oh, how would VF like to play this game? Okay, we'll build it like that. And, and as uh, Raikin put it, um, the only thing missing, the only thing missing from how I play Farm Sim, uh, from FS19, is the fact that uh, Seasons isn't in it as standard. Otherwise, how I've done this live stream, that's FS19. And this is this is as about as close to an FS19 preview as you'll get at the moment. What my features are my first, most excited? Uh, there are two features I'm most excited for in FS19. Uh, start from scratch is one of them. Uh, because, as I said, that's how I play. Uh, the other is the clouds. The clouds are stunning. Oop. I cannot wait to see them in person. Yeah, I see you, Luke. Um, I do my my um my Twitter stream. If you follow me on Twitter, so I'll put my social up. But I do post farm sim news on my uh, on my Facebook and on my Twitter. So whenever something comes out. Uh, if I see a mod I like, if there's anything like that, those two places are likely to be where you'll find it from me for the most part. Uh, in addition to that, I am doing the fact sheets. Uh, I'm not so much doing the videos, uh, mainly because I get more warning for the fact sheets than I do the videos. Right, I think we've probably got enough wood to sell here. So... Just gonna get this last bit on here. Plus, I'm slightly worried. 
We could, we could fit. Well, we could fit a little bit more on this side. It's getting dodgy now. Look. Especially when things like that happen. And we put a bit on like that. That's wrong. Oh. Nine K subs in the life. I am not Eddie Scat. <laughs> Eddie and I sound very, very different. Eddie Shearing, maybe, but not Eddie Scat. <laughs> How many likes do we need? Uh, we were on 130 last I saw. May I ask where to you get your Land Rover from, please? Sean, you can download the Land Rover. Speaking of social links, you can download the Land Rover from my Facebook page. So if you want the Landy, uh, pop along there. And it is a, it is the first, it's a pinned, I imagine if I was, yeah. Um, it is a pinned uh, message at the top that has disappeared into the snow. I am never going to find that last one. Uh, I'm gonna, yeah, actually, I'm not gonna push my luck. That is where we are going to do that. <laughs> that yeah, Eddie Scap and I, uh, very different. Eddie's, Eddie's more than half my age <laughs> for a start. Right, there we go. So follow that. What's up? And away we go. What brand do I want in FS? Uh, I would love David Brown. Never going to happen, Aaron. But I would love David Brown. Oh, I, I've been talking so much, I've drunk hardly any of my coke. There we go. Culver Park Farm is all kinds of beautiful under the snow. It really is. I really like it. Uh, because, and I've been researching this, so interestingly, David Brown as a company still exists. So while I always thought, oh, I could do a David Brown mod and get it on the Mod Hub because David Brown is a, is owned by New Holland, it isn't. David Brown, what was David Brown Tractors is owned by the New Holland, but the actual brand of David Brown is not owned by New Holland, which amazed me. I absolutely did not know that. Right, so let's make a mess. Uh, what's my favourite Coke? Pepsi. Pepsi Max, in fact. As you can see, because I drink it most streams. Uh, I mean, Case. What did I say? Well, New Holland. Well, uh, yeah, New Holland owns Case. And Case owns New Holland. You know, they're, 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 uh, they're the same company. So that's a decent amount of money. That's really helpful. I don't think I haven't activated it. There's a mod I downloaded that I need to try. Yeah, Cases New Holland. Yeah, exactly. I'm sure the mods will be happy to. <laughs> JD455 man. A nice little, nice little amount of money off that. That's good. Uh, the farm I work on is 1971 David Brown. Wow. That's that's the era that I love new, 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 uh, Northumberland farming videos. Yeah, it's branded CNH. C Case New Holland. 
Thank you, Trent Thompson. Timed out by lots of people, including this guy, who you should go and subscribe to. <laughs> Brilliant. I should have driven the Ford because that is running a long, long way behind me. That'd be alright. Yeah, it's case and Dave Grant. Yeah, it's it's so um in the early I think it was in the early eighties, maybe late seventies, Case bought David Brown. Um, and uh, and the case yeah, no no sorry, it was the early seventies. Because the David Browns that came out in the early seventies. Uh, in the seventies were cases, but they and, and Case used David Brown as a uh, as a mark in um in the 70s in America, I think. And then uh, in the early 80s, they started uh, they started sort of dialing it back. Yeah, it is still coming. Whoa. There we go. 1544. We have 17 minutes left of the stream. We didn't make a huge amount of that. But we did make enough. Oh, we got 21 litres in this. I've gone the wrong way. We'd like to see a Ford Versatile New Holland. Yeah, I was reading a bit up about that as well. Hoping that doesn't reverse out of that. Um, and I didn't realise that, that in order for Ford to take over New Holland, I think it was, or New Holland's take over case or one of those. They had to sell Versatile in Canada. Hello, Nathan Anderson. I was really up about it uh, earlier in the week. It was really interesting. Oh, that'd be lovely Northumberland farming videos. Is it, is it, does it have a cab on it or um, is it a, um, what is it? Is it a, a nine, a nine, nine, six or we do need fuel. Yes. Well, we've got 20 litres. We're all right. Right, I am going to give the cows the one thing they really, really need to make sure that we don't lose any. Fiat own New Holland and Case. Yes. Okay. As, uh, I, I need to check the Wikipedia article. Welcome back, Adam Mock. 11.10. Uh, 11.0. A welcome along. Or 110. I'll get it right in a moment. Blocked. Uh-oh. Where, where has our 78.10 got lost? We're just walking around in the rain. How many maps have I been on FS17? Um... Maps I've played, I have 30 series. So considering the first series I've got is a first look, uh, it's a first look series, uh, I have played 29 maps. Actually, just over 30 because I did some live stream series as well. Um, and I have done first looks of over 60 maps. So I've, I've looked at and checked out over 60 maps in FS. Um, which is, yeah. Which is a crazy number of maps. Where is... Oh, he's gone up. Yeah, he's gone up here and tried to turn around. That's what's happened. Hi, Summer Farm Estates. played about 10. I kind of wish I'd played fewer maps, actually, to be honest. I think we might need to put the four-wheel drive on. Yeah, no. Pull into Bullet Bill's house. 
Hello, Jamie. You've been welcome along. I should probably. I wonder, actually, should I do my top ten FS17 maps? Is that a, the kind of video people would be interested in? Seeing as we are uh, winding down now. Uh, yes, I believe Simulate will be uh, in Switzerland with me next month. No, no. So, uh, where, uh, DJ Salty, what I've done is... Um, Mad Alex, what I've done <laughs> is uh, I have done first looks so i basically loaded into the map i've loaded my land rover in and i've driven around the map and had a look at everything uh, so that's it welcome along mad alex for those who don't know uh, mad alex has uh, is a streamer on twitch uh, he streams farm sim or he streams most of the day almost every day and i i came across his uh, his twitch channel the other day and just hung out there for it. And it was just a really nice place to be. Oh, the, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I've, I've looked around 60 maps. I've played. I've actually played for, uh, well, played a lot on at least 30 maps. Yeah, top 10. Because that it wouldn't be very long. It'd be interesting, I think. That's all right. As I said, I enjoyed it. It was it was good fun. Right, there we go. And drop this off. Yes, should point out, Mad Alex's streams are uh, are not PG. <laughs> Very much not PG. <laughs> I don't. I don't mind. Uh, I don't mind recommending that so much on Twitch because Twitch is a, a very much less PG kind of place. Right there we go. Oh, we've still got a flashing beacon on here, so we'll turn that off. Right, where is the landing? We'll take that back up. You can see the rain is having an effect. The rain is is melting the snow. I know what we're going to go and do for the last thing. We're going to go and sell the Abbey and get our new muck spreader. And we'll use the 7810 for this. Ah. I just... I, I mean, you guys know me. I like to just go around Twitch and Facebook. Uh, sorry, Twitch and YouTube. And I will find a stream. I, I, I'll see how many people are watching. Or, you know, sometimes I'll go into one which has very few people watching. Sometimes I'll go into one that has lots watching. Thank you for following Dan Sky over on Twitch. Welcome to the BFN. And I just like to hang out in the stream and see how everybody's going, doing. See what kind of stream it is. Sometimes I come across one where I just won't comment. Thank you for hosting my stream, Mad Alex. You are awesome. And uh, and yeah, and uh, and and if I like the stream, you'll see me coming. I don't know Johnny um, Zanga, to be honest. Thank you, Massey Fergie boy. You did miss the happy dance, sixty-two ninety. We we hit the happy dance fairly quickly this evening. Uh, which is awesome. How many likes are we up to? 70 people watching on YouTube. I need to sort out my Twitch again. You know, I do it on Twitch. I need to know how many people we have uh, followers on Twitch. And I have a feeling. I, actually, I need to check something. I need to check something. Because I have a feeling that tonight I may have popped over 500 on uh, Twitch. Let's see if that updates. Because we have had three, at, at least three people subscribe on Twitch, or follow on Twitch tonight. Yes! Oh, wow! So, big news, everybody. 
Oh, fi we have 501 followers on Twitch. We've gone over 500 followers on Twitch. That's awesome. Thank you very, very much. That's fantastic. Thank you for following jkoi198 on Twitch. You followed two weeks ago? Awesome. Thank you, Adam. Yeah, that's fantastic. Twitch is coming along nicely at the moment. And I'm, I'm really pleased about it. I do need to incorporate it more into the stream. How long is left? We have about eight-ish minutes left. We're going to go and see if we can replace our side uh, side muck spreader for something a bit bigger. Uh, we have 18,000. I think we need 25,000. Ah, oh, thank you, man, Alex. You did recognize me fairly quickly when I said hi, which was quite cool. <laughs> Uh, I have toyed with doing maybe a couple of behind the scenes um, streams on Twitch. Just sort of one off random uh, streams. This Abbey, actually, uh, as, as this Abbey does look fantastic behind the 7810. It's slightly a pity we're getting rid of it, but I, I have had it on Balan Craig and it was a bit of a pain doing the side stuff there. Ah, oh, you can see where we've done all our moving around here. Ah, oh, there we go. Evening, Jonathan McLeese. Right, so, uh, nope, we don't want to buy yet. We want to sell first. I don't think we're going to have enough money for the dry rats. Right, there we go. Uh, the, the bun oh no, the bunning was... Yeah, that's the one I'd like. Unfortunately, can't do that. Jarex is 25,000. We have 24,784. Oh, man. That's annoying. Right. To get this in this stream... Uh... And we'll pay it back later. My hope is when we finish this series, we're going to be able to pay off this loan. Um, right, we're going to borrow another 5,000. Oh no, we can't borrow any more money. We should be able to. We cannot. Right, we'll have to buy this next time. Hopefully when we solve some stuff. Thank you, Fry Gax Fusion, for following over on Twitch. You are awesome. We've hit sub goal. We've hit sub goal. We've hit sub goal. I'm not doing cheap money. Do you bet? A bet <laughs> um, well, we are. We've got five minutes left. I'm going to take this back down to the cows. Um, our cows should make enough money overnight for us to be able to afford that. So what we will probably do is start next stream with buying that. Because we are going to need that for the next um, thing. Do I still use the Bailey trailers? Not on this map. Where did I use those? Use that on... can't remember which map I used the Bailey on. <laughs> Next stream, yeah. Long overdue. Yeah, I know JD455, man. Long overdue. Um, I don't think I do. I'm trying to remember which map I had the Baileys on. We have the, the Marshalls on here. Says, my recent vid has no view. What, as in today's video? Wow, that is broke. When is the next stream? The next stream will be on Friday. So, Friday at 8pm, we will be back on the Realism Experiment for the first day of spring. Um, Sunday's episode is episode 50. 
So we will be, so Friday we're doing episode 49, Sunday is episode 50, that's fantastic. Hello La, if you could uh, type in English please. Oh, uh, that's weird, Adam. Right, so we have sold off our old one. We we are going to need to. We're going to need to gain a little bit of money. Um, we should do overnight. We should be fine with the cows. Uh, we will get them fed and everything. Their health is at 82%, so it should be a good amount of milk overnight, uh, which will be fantastic. Um, but, yeah. So, we're basically going to go put this tractor away we'll take the landy back up to the main farm because uh, then everything will be back in its correct place i think hey glenga over on twitch uh 74 72 watching at the moment um mods if you could get a link to today's video ready for the chat please that would be fantastic No more time. <laughs> right, there we go. Rain is washing all of our tractors and everything quite nicely. The summer this snow is going to stay around till nearly summer with how we've piled it. Reverse out. Right, and away we go. Um, the, uh, I have to say, I'm reading through, I've been reading through some of the comments and suggestions and things people like and things people could think can improve uh, from this year's uh, channel survey. And uh, there's some very interesting stuff in there, some very interesting things to take into consideration. Some things that I already thought were true, some things that have gone, oh, really? So, uh, yeah, I think it'll be interesting. That's all right, Michael. Right, we're going to get this back to the farm, back to our house and park up. Uh, the snow will be reducing. What is our forecast for tomorrow? Uh, sun, a minus three on the ground, but plus seven in the air. So we'll be good. We won't be able to do any planting, but we might, if the snow goes, we might be able to do some muck spreading. So we'll see how we go. Uh, there we go. Right, park this up here. And that, we that is actually 10 o'clock on the dot. So I am going to uh, leave the stream here. Uh, all that remains is for me to say... Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this live stream. Please give it a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. And for all the latest videos and live streams from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.